hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and we're like on the eternal circle quest. No, we're working our way up from the simplest circle problems that could show up on the GED to the most complex. So let's take a look at this one. It says, find the circumference. Okay, we've been doing that. We know we can hit up the formula sheet for circumference formulas. In terms of pi, that's the part that might be new for you guys. In terms of pi means even though I know pi is approximately equal to 3.14, pi is a number and it's about 3.14, that's not an exact answer. That's an approximation. When I tell you in terms of pi, that means I want you to give me an exact answer. You're going to leave pi pi. Literally, you're just going to leave a pi symbol in a problem. Feels so wrong for students. They're like, well, I shouldn't leave pi pi. I've got to call them 3.14. Well, not if I told you not to, y'all. The directions specifically say I want my answer in terms of pi. That means to leave the pi symbol in your final answer, okay? And then, of course, it, we're finding the circumference of the shape below. And hopefully, I hope you know that this is a circle. You're welcome. Okay, so let's go hit up our GED formula sheet and take a look. Circumference of a circle formulas are right there in the first section. Do you see it? Last line in the first uh, perimeter section, it says circumference of a circle, and it gives you two options. It says you can use this formula, C equals pi D, or you can use this formula, C equals 2 pi R. Why would they give you two formulas? Well, because there's different ways to do the same math. So which should you use? Well, it depends what you've been given. The D stands for diameter. Remember, the diameter is the line through the center of a circle all the way across. R stands for radius when it comes to circle formulas. Radius starts at the center and just goes to the outside edge. So which have we been given? Well, take a look. Our measurement starts at the center, goes to the outside edge. This is a radius. Our life would probably be easier if we use the formula with radius in it. Now, would I get a wrong answer if I use the other one? No, I just have an extra step. So C is equal to 2 pi r. Okay, so now let's substitute into our formula like we always do, but take a look. Circumference is the unknown, so it'll stay C. 2, of course, I leave numbers numbers. Now, I'm supposed to take 2 and multiply by pi, but remember these directions. I had said I wanted it in terms of pi. That means leave pi pi. You're like, Kate, can I do that? You can do that. That is totally legit, okay? Every mathematician in the world knows pi. We're all familiar and acquainted with him. We know exactly what we, you mean when you use the symbol pi. It's okay, okay? Now, the r, though, the r is an unknown until we plug it in and we did find out what the R is. We said, according to this diagram here, the radius is 4 millimeters, so let's plug in the 4. Notice how I do that with parentheses. Now you might say, Kate, this is a really gross problem. I don't know how to simplify it. It's like really easy to simplify. All you got to do, since these three numbers are multiplying, and we're allowed to multiply in any order we want, just go ahead and multiply the numbers you know how to multiply together, 2 and 4. 2 times 4 is 8, and then shove the pi on real tight onto 8's backside so we know that 8 and pi are multiplying. That's how mathematicians say things are multiplying. They use proximity, closeness. So that right there is 8 times pi, uh, somewhere around 24. So 8 times pi what? 8 times pi millimeters. Circumference is uh, just a line around the outside of a circle, so we measure circumference with a linear measurement, plain old millimeters. And I'm done. I'm literally done. Students feel like there's so much more they should do. What should they do? Should they multiply? Should they 3.14? No, you're done. This is an exact perfect answer in terms of pi. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.